Let's talk Saints injury news now. Not as bad as it could have been. Marcus Davenport suffered a pectoral injury later in the game in week one. A very impressive performance, mind you, out of the Saints and their win over the Green Bay Packers. The good news for Davenport, it is only a strain. Not a, emphasis on this next word, full-fledged tear. Technically a strain is a tear, but it's not like a complete torn pectoral. That is good news. A torn pec might have ended Marcus Davenport's season. In this case, with only being a strain, he should be back sooner than later, which is a very big deal for New Orleans. The Saints, frankly, avoided some disaster here. Had Davenport gone down, that would have been a big-time loss for the Saints' defensive line. I was very impressed by Marcus Davenport in Week 1. I had thought this was finally going to be the breakout year, and we saw the flashes of it in Week 1 against Green Bay. Three tackles, two tackles for loss, one sack, and a quarterback hit. Now, obviously Davenport was never going to produce that level every single week. But his play was a, one of the many promising signs out of New Orleans in week one. Now, in the short term, assuming Davenport does miss at least a little bit of time, I think Carl Granderson and, and uh, Fano Passanio are the next men up at defensive end. We'll get to Peyton Turner here in just a second. But the, the injury to Davenport is a big one. They were kind of thin on the interior defensive line because David uh, Onimata suspended. Cam Jordan's great. I thought Passanio and Granderson showed enough promise. With it being a short-term injury to Marcus Davenport, I think that really helps the Saints be in a position where they'll be able to survive, maybe not thrive in the same way, but survive until he's back closer to 100%. Now, the Saints could also get a boost from Peyton Turner. Now, I know Saints fans know this already, but Turner missed some time in camp in the preseason. He was inactive in week one. He had missed some practice with an injury, was still getting back to 100%. I wonder now if Turner ends up being active in week one, he or, or in week two. He was inactive in week one. I think he's, I would bet, gamble here early in the, in the week for week two that Turner is able to play in the second game of the NFL season. They also, of course, lost Marshawn Lattimore. That injury viewed to be more of a week-to-week -week one. So we'll see what ends up happening for Marshawn Lattimore in terms of when he's able to make his return to the Saints. Of course, he got the bag in a big-time way right after that game ended as well. So decent timing there for Marshawn. Now, there were several major injuries across the NFL before the Saints and other NFL teams. So what do you guys think? Who had the biggest, I'll go with most impactful, week one injury? What player got hurt that you just went, damn, that really, really sucks? Get your votes in for me right now in the comments section.